So the government has set a January 2024 deadline to break ground on the planned second terminal at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Speaking during the official inauguration ceremony of Sky Airlines, a Pan-African air company, Kenya Airports Authority Board Chairperson Caleb Kositany says that the government is in the process of identifying a contractor for the proposed state-of-the-art terminal Sky Airlines it is a Togolese career, carrier set to fly three times weekly in the Nairobi route. We will be identifying a contractor uh, soon. We will be um, advertising that it will be an open tender for those who uh, would want to uh, build this. And most likely, either it will be a PPP project or whatever proposals that we get that would be friendly and would uh, help us achieve and deliver the project as quickly as we can. Because the traffic to and from Kenya, Nairobi, is promising. And also, this is uh, a very good opportunity for us to connect West, Central and Southern part of Africa to East Africa. We are starting with three or four times a week, but eventually with what uh, we are looking at is going to be uh, a daily flight. The Agricultural Society of Canada